Yo, what is up guys? You know who it is. I'm Dan. I'm back with another craft brew review. Uh, and we're going with the fourth and final round from the Shorts Variety Pack, guys. Today I have Shorts Brewing Black Cherry Porter. Um, this is a porter brewed with black cherry puree. And I think these cherries come from where I'm from, northern Michigan, around the Traverse City area, guys. I have had this before about two years ago. I sell it yearly. Um, I think it came in a bomber, a bomber last year, if I remember correctly. But I do not recall what the flavor profile really is. Did I like it? None of that. I don't remember any of that, guys. I'm going to give a raw and honest review. This just happened to be in the variety pack, and I did have a sip or half a beer, I didn't want to say. Not a sip. I think my fiance had it. Um, and I had maybe a sip or two off of hers, or she didn't like it. One of the two, and I remember finishing it. I can't remember, actually, guys. So I'm going to say that I actually don't remember having this, guys. So let's just roll and pop into this. Beautiful. Great carbonation. Um, I cannot see the date on the bottle. I do know it was last month if I'm correct and I think I am guys I remember looking at it but I cannot see it with that black black ink and dark black color on that beer inside that bottle there so I cannot see that date right now but I know this sucker's 9.2 percent uh, it's got a ton of malt going on in there and I know they use a, a million different types of malt what I remember reading so let's go for a pour very nice very dark Wow, that's a pretty beer, guys. We've got a dark khaki head, about finger and a half length of head on that sucker. Um, and we are definitely uh, pitch black in the glass, I want to say, guys. I cannot see through that. Um, what's funny with this head is not only is it a dark brown kind of burnt sugar but you almost got like a little tint of red like that cherries in there somewhere um, but it's real nice and clingy dawn soapy thick foamy um, burnt sugar and red caramelized head going on there very very attractive porter for it being zero degrees outside in northern michigan guys this is a perfect beer to have right now i'm gonna go for aroma All I'm really getting, guys, is that roasted malt for sure. It smells like it's going to be like coffee beer. Maybe just the smallest presence of that fruitiness from maybe that cherry in there, guys. I should have let this warm up a little bit more. It's still a bit too cold. Um, definitely not a proper move. I'm really bad at letting these warm up. I get home from work. Um, pull them out of the fridge and I just want to crack into a beer really badly guys so I'm really bad at letting these warm up to room temperature but yeah I kind of get that like dark that dark fruit in there or, or not dark fruit but that dark um, cherry mixed with that um, roasted coffee malt in there guys so let's look no further and talk about it let's get it down my gullet let's go for a drink guys cheers cheers shorts fourth and final round let's see what you got Oh. Very tasty, guys. I just burped up. I, I did get that cherry when I burped up. Um, definitely getting huge amounts of roast in there. That roast, roasted malt is so, so heavy on this, guys. Roasted malt for days. God, it's an attractive beer. It really is. That burnt brown sugar with that off red cherry just mixed in there. Beautiful looking beer, guys. It's very beautiful. I give them an A plus on the appearance of this beer. That is smooth. 9.2%. Can't get 
any booze going down. I think it's still cold, so I don't know if that's going to change as it warms up, guys. Um, this is very, very pleasant to drink at 9.2%. Very creamy head. Nice tartness in the background from those cherries. Nice, smaller coffee presence. Big, big roasted mall, guys. Um, almost like a charred cherry in there, too. Very, very um, nice and dry on the back end. I really am enjoying this beer. I can see that tartness in this beer really um, driving through as it warms up. I don't know if that's going to put that more out of balance by the time I finish it. But where it stands right now is a very, very um, light, heavy mouthfeel, even um, heavy, medium, dark um, mouthfeel, guys. And what I'm getting is a nice creaminess that comes with it, 9.2%. Um, goes down oh so smooth. Um, there's a beautiful, huge abundance of roasted malt, little hint of coffee, and nice cherry tartness on the back end to give it a nice, dry, hop forward finish, guys. I'm really, really liking um, the flavor complexities going on in this beer. It's a, it's a nice change of pace with that nice cherry in there with that roasted coffee and malt. Um, again, I could be partial because of the weather right now. Any of these dark beers just sound great and they're tasting really good to me um so where it stands right now guys i'm going four out of five on this black cherry porter guys it is very very nice and um, nice change of pace for me and again this could change as it goes up i'm already getting a bigger um kind of tart cherryness um, as this beer warms up, I don't know if that's going to throw this beer more out of balance. Seems like it already is. But where it stands cold, guys, I'm going to go 4 out of 5. Um, and we'll see how it goes as it, as it warms up. If it warms up and I don't like it at the end, I will leave a note below. But let me know. If you guys had the, have had this, let me know. Comment below. What did you think of it? Um, have you had it? And would you try it? Um, it's a nice little sip of northern Michigan, guys. So um, that will conclude this shorts variety pack series guys i really appreciate it if you tuned in this whole time um, thanks for sticking with me and if not thanks for tuning in today if you did um, i'm gonna call it there guys it's a shorts kind of night i've got these suckers ready for whenever we're gonna do the um unofficial so on that we'll call it guys i'm dan craft brew dude i'm over and out i'll see you on the next one guys cheers